Introduction to Research Methods Research is the seeking or searching for knowledge. The word research derives from the French word rechercher, meaning to travel through. The formal definition of research is a careful, systematic process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting information or data in order to increase our understanding of the phenomena or problem about which we are interested or concerned. The research process generally follows a scientific method which requires 1. Identifying a, a problem, 2. Positing a hypothesis or set of research questions, 3. Gathering data relevant to the problem, and 4. Analyzing and interpreting the data to support or refute the hypotheses or resolve the research questions. The eight characteristics of research described by Leedy and Ormeron on page 2 and 3 are derived from the scientific method. The phenomena or problem to be studied depends upon the researcher's interest or field of study. In formal research, the nature of a study might seek to describe a situation, examine relationships between two or more phenomena, or to consider whether something is causing an effect on something else. For this course, we will examine phenomena appropriate to social science and especially to communication and culture. Note that for purposes of this course, the words phenomena, problem, and research topic will be used interchangeably. An hypothesis is a logical supposition, reasonable guess, or educated conjecture that provides a tentative explanation of a phenomena. Hypotheses are commonplace in many things we do throughout the day. For example, if you were to come home late at night and flick a light switch on entering your home that normally lights a lamp but nothing happens, you immediately begin to guess or conjecture, conjecture as to what has happened. For example, the light bulb in the lamp has gone out. The lamp is not plugged into the electrical outlet. A late afternoon thunderstorm disrupted the electrical service. The wire or lamp is defective or broke. You forgot to pay your electric bill. To support or refute uh, any of the above hypotheses, you would begin to collect information. Check the bulb, check the lights, other lights in your home, look to see if the lights are on in your neighborhood. In order to conduct research, we need to become familiar with a number of methods and tools appropriate for the phenomena we are studying. In the coming weeks, we will be introduced to a variety of these methods and tools and hopefully learn that we have to apply the right method or tool to the phenomena or problem at hand.